Conversations with the Citizen. I am your host, Tia Carol Jones. I am here today with Ebony Westbrooks, NIA Family Center Site Director. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Um, so, my name is Ebony Westbrook. Um, I did grow up in the West Humboldt Park area, maybe three blocks away from the center that I currently direct. Um, I do have two children. Um, I currently obtain and hold my master's degree in early childhood education. Um, I enjoy traveling um, and doing different research um, to find out what's going on throughout the world. Okay. So, what is Chicago Commons? When was it founded and why is the work Chicago Commons does so important? Chicago Commons was founded in 1984 as a settlement house. Um, and for the past 128 years, Chicago Commons has proven to be a high quality program that provides services for early education, um, senior services, and also we provide adult services through our Family Hub program. We um, currently serve over 3,500 individuals throughout the Chicago land. Um, and in our early education program, we currently serve over 1,700 students, ages from six weeks up to 12 years old. How does NIA Family Center fit into Chicago Commons overall mission? Um, NIA Family Center has been a leading early education program since 1993. It is located in the West Humboldt Park area. Um, we do serve children ages six weeks up to five years of age, and we are open from 7 a.m. to 6 p.m. Um, and we do provide and implement the Reggio approach within our classrooms. Um, we introduce our children to different materials. We allow them to explore, and also all of our classrooms are set up as the third teacher. What are some of the ways Chicago Commons leverages partnerships within the community to achieve its goals? Um, Chicago Commons was awarded a five-year, $23 million per year grant to provide um, additional support to admins, um, provide more teacher training, and coordinate family service through a, collab a collaboratory approach. You have been with Chicago Commons for more than 20 years. You started as a teacher and grew into more senior positions. What is it about Chicago Commons that made you want to continue with them throughout your career? Um, um, as I stated earlier, I did grow up in the community. Um, I was a teen mom, so my children did attend me a family center. Um, I did go to school to be a nurse, um, and I completed that task. But once my children entered NIA, it was so welcoming. The teachers were so hands-on. They provided support that I needed in order for me to reach my goals and to be su successful. They also supported my children um, by providing assessments, um, making sure they're meeting their milestones, by planning for them. Um, so I kind of fell in love with that. And I went back to school for early education, and I was able to obtain my master's degree. Um, so as I learned and been on my journey, I have learned two things in life. So we have two type of leaders in the world. We have leaders that want power and we have leaders that inspire others. So as a director and a leader at NIA Family Center, I wanna be that leader that inspire my teaching team to wanna to one day enhance their careers and to be a director or you know to be the CEO. I just like to inspire others because I feel like it's a good feeling and they have so much potential and I'm so excited about their future. Where can people go to find out more about Chicago Commons and the NIA Family Center? Um, if you like more additional information regarding Chicago Commons, you can visit our social media outlets, um, or you can visit the website at chicagocommons.org. If you like, if you would like a personal tour of NIA, um, you can reach out to me um, via email at westbrookebony at chicagocommons.org, and that is W E S T. B R O O K S E as an egg at chicagocommons.org. Great, great. Before we wrap up, is there anything else you'd like to add? Okay. Great. Well, thank you so much for being here. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. I think it was a great.
great opportunity and I am so excited about this interview. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Tia. You're welcome. Remember to make plans to join us again next for Conversations with the Citizen. The place where